During post-World War II period, the Centurion was the primary British main battle of that period. First introduced in 1945, it was majorly known to be the most successful post-war tank design that was still in production till the 1960s, and even seen combats till the 1980s. Born out of the fallout of World War II, the Centurion tank emerged as an evidence of the British determination and ingenuity. Featuring a new tank design, it represents a paradigm shift in the previous traditional tank designs, introducing technological advancement and groundbreaking features that creates new standards for incoming generations. So let's talk about the history of the Centurion. The Centurion saga begins with a somber prologue, showcasing the challenges faced by British tank designers in World War II. Despite their significant role in inventing the tank during the First World War, British armor in the subsequent conflict proved to be a disaster. British cruiser tanks like the Crusader were fast and agile, intended for cavalry-like maneuvers. However, they lacked adequate firepower and armor to withstand the German tanks and anti-tank guns they encountered. On the other hand, the infantry support tanks like the Churchill had thicker armor, but were too slow to take advantage of breakthroughs. To make matters worse, British tanks suffered from mechanical reliability issues. Early tank cannons could engage tanks, but were ineffective against anti-tank guns or infantry. This left British tanks outmatched by their German counterparts, especially the heavy Tigers and Panthers with their formidable armor and deadly high-velocity cannons. The British Army realized that they couldn't continue urgently building tanks that were already outdated by the time they were deployed. The A41 Centurion became the culmination of all the design and combat lessons learned by British tank designers during World War II. What Britain needed was a tank that could balance firepower, protection, and mobility. In late 1943, the A41 cruiser tank proposal emerged. It was a 45-ton vehicle powered by a Meteor gasoline engine, based on the same engine that powered the legendary Spitfire fighter plane. Armed with a high-velocity 76.2mm gun, also known as the 17-pounder, the Centurion boasted frontal armor 3 inches thick, strategically angled for enhanced protection. While its speed was a modest 21 miles per hour, it excelled in cross-country mobility. What makes the design of the Centurion so unique during its time? First and foremost, the sloped armor. One of the key design elements that set the Centurion apart was its sloped armor. Unlike many tanks of its era, the Centurion incorporated angled plates in its armor design. This sloping increased the effective thickness and deflection capabilities of the armor, providing improved protection against enemy fire. Secondly, powerful 105mm gun. The Centurion was armed with a formidable 105mm rifled gun, which was quite a leap forward compared to the smaller caliber guns of its contemporaries. This powerful gun provided the Centurion with superior firepower, longer range, and increased armor-piercing capabilities making it a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. Another feature was its advanced suspension system. A standout feature of the Centurion was its advanced suspension system, known as the Horseman Suspension. This system allowed for better maneuverability and improved cross-country performance. With its ability to adapt to varied terrains, the Centurion could maintain its effectiveness even in challenging environments. Let's not leave out the crew comfort and ergonomics. The designers of the Centurion prioritized the comfort and well-being of the crew. The tank's interior layout provided ample space, better visibility, and improved working conditions. Additionally, the Centurion boasted a rotating turret, allowing the crew to avoid facing the same direction for extended periods, reducing fatigue during long operations. Its upgrade potential was also another factor. The Centurion was designed with modularity in mind, making it relatively easy to upgrade and modify. Throughout its service life, various improvements were made to its engine, armor, and firepower. This adaptability ensured that the Centurion remained relevant and effective, even as technology evolved on the battlefield. 
last but not least, international success. The Centurion wasn't just limited to the British Army. It gained international recognition and success. This tank was exported to numerous countries worldwide, showcasing its versatility and effectiveness on a global scale. Its presence in various armed forces further solidified its reputation as a reliable and capable tank. To show how dominant the Centurion tank was in its time, we will compare them with other tanks of its time. Centurion vs Tiger II or King Tiger The Tiger D was a formidable German heavy tank used during World War II. While the Tiger II had thicker armor and a more powerful 88mm gun, the Centurion had superior mobility, better reliability, and a faster rate of fire. Additionally, the Centurion introduced the concept of sloped frontal armor, which improved its overall protection. Centurion vs T-34 The T-34 was a Soviet medium tank widely used during World War II. Compared to the T-34's sloped armor design, the Centurion's sloped glasses plate and turret front offered enhanced protection. The Centurion also had a larger caliber 105mm gun compared to the T-34's 76mm or 85mm gun, giving it superior firepower. Centurion vs M4 Sherman The M4 Sherman was the primary American medium tank during World War II. The Centurion outclassed the Sherman in terms of armor protection, firepower, and mobility. With its 105mm gun, the Centurion could penetrate the Sherman's armor at longer ranges. The Centurion also featured improved suspension and a more powerful engine, giving it better maneuverability. Centurion vs Leopard 1 The Leopard 1 was a German main battle tank introduced in the 1960s. While the Leopard 1 was lighter and more nimble, the Centurion had thicker frontal armor and a more powerful 105mm gun. The Centurion's armor protection and firepower made it better suited for engaging enemy tanks head-on, whereas the Leopard 1 focused more on mobility and long-range engagements. Centurion vs T-72 The T-72, a Soviet-designed main battle tank, was widely used during the Cold War era. The Centurion had superior armor protection compared to early versions of the T-72. Additionally, the Centurion's 105mm gun had better accuracy and range than the T-72's 125mm smoothbore gun. However, later variants of the T-72 introduced improvements that surpassed the Centurion in some aspects. Overall, the Centurion tank stood out with its combination of strong armor, powerful armament, and excellent mobility. It set the standard for subsequent tank designs and remained in service with various countries for several decades, proving its effectiveness on the battlefield. That brings us to the end of this video. Ensure to leave a like and subscribe for more tanks-related videos.